If you're looking for an amazing adventure this summer in Ontario, Flowerpot Island is the place for you. It's one of the best experiences in the Fathom 5 National Marine Park. The island is famous for its natural flower pot rock pillars, caves, historic light station, and rare plants. You can take a tour boat from the town of Tobomori and spend as much time as you want on the island. In this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know for the perfect day trip to Flowerpot Island. Flowerpot Island is 6.5 kilometers from Tobomori Harbor and reached only by boat. There's two private tour boat companies that operate ships to and from the island between mid-May to mid-October. The first one is the Blue Heron Company and the second one is Bruce Anchor Cruises. We personally have only taken Blue Heron Company and we absolutely love the boats and service that they offer. You can also kayak or canoe to the island, but this is only recommended for experienced paddlers. If you take Blue Heron Cruises to Flowerpot Island, most of their routes also make a stop in Little Tub Harbor. Here you get to see and learn about two awesome shipwrecks and pass a really pretty lighthouse. This is the dock. This is where you will be dropped off as a day hiker. And it's the same place that you'll be dropped off as a camper on Flower Pot Island. The first thing you'll see are the washrooms and the introductory platforms. As day hikers, you would likely want to go that way to your right, where you will uh, hit up the loop trail. As you head off the dock, you'll be directly on the loop trail. This is the most popular trail on the island as it takes you in a big loop past all of the attractions. This includes the flower pots, the cave, and the light station. You'll also pass picnic areas that you can stop and have a meal at. The amount of time you spend on the island is dependent upon what you want to see. If you're just going to see the flower pots in the cave, one and a half hours is more than enough. If you'd like to see the flower pots, cave, and light station, you'll want to account for about three hours. If you want to see the flower pots, cave, light station, hike the entire loop trail, and have a picnic, four to five hours is going to be a good amount of time. Make sure that you also time it well with your departure ferry. You definitely do not want to miss the time that you have booked to leave the island. It's good to note that due to COVID, not all attractions may be open. So we highly recommend checking the website prior to your trip to see what you can and can't do depending on the COVID situation. Please don't forget that Flower Pot Island is an island, so it's really important that you bring all of the necessities that you'll need for the day. Things like sturdy footwear, sunscreen and a hat, water, and drinks and snacks are all great ideas of items to have with you. If you like to swim, this is another activity you can do on Flower Pot Island. If the weather is nice, head down to one of the rock plates and jump on in. It is important to note that the waves can get quite big on windy days, so make sure you know your swimming level and are comfortable with the water when you jump in. Last but not least, I will note that the water on Flower Pot Island is quite cold. 
So if you're not used to swimming in cold water, maybe test it out before you jump directly in there. That wraps up this video on everything you need to know about visiting Flower Pot Island. If you want to take it a step further and love camping, you can also camp on Flower Pot Island. For all of the details on what you need to know for camping, check out our Everything You Need to Know About Camping on Flower Pot Island video.